Okay. Like I, I, I told them, I'm like, look, I don't even necessarily need the refund. I just need to be able to move that money somewhere else because I'm not just holding that L on that. You guys are gonna get me something else. So I should be getting that chance. Oh, are we getting? <coughs> yeah. All right. We got <coughs> loser semis over here. To... Watch the tiny screen for a second. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the Chicken Boy versus KKB. Chicken Boy, really? It's a Pojo. Oh, yeah. He, he do got a big head, though. Are you Mexican, bro? <laughs> 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 he, do, he do got a big head. Uh, you, got, you guys doing the nun versus... Is that Apollo? Yeah. yeah. Me, I came back. I had to restart, so it works now. Let's see if you're okay. You sound I'm good. Okay. Uh, no, no, I was coughing. Okay. okay. Oh, man, the up tilt right there. That's pretty good. Let's train some of the percentages right here. Yeah, I'm interested to see if, like, how Apollo respects the Phantoms throughout the match. Like, well, I mean, right there, he decided to roll into it, say what's up, give it a hug real quick. But, like, I I'm wondering if he's going to decide that. That looks so much better, Dev, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you just did, do that always. Oh, yeah, punish that. That's very punishable. But when Zelda was like, what, a cubby right, right in your face just to try to get that confirmed, but misses? Yeah, and answering exactly the question I had before, yeah. too. Like, yeah, just going out there as soon as Zero tried to go for... Uh, the charge punishing it and he had a decent ledge option there until zero just throughout the off uh the off smash so ztn's gonna shut that down yeah bringing it back to close to close stocks and percentages i actually like the delay with the uh, the neutral be there like i don't know if it was intentional not to avoid that specific situation but apollo was definitely looking for an air dodge on that platform to reset yeah it's uh, definitely an interesting way to land i feel like she lands faster when she does it <laughs> Oh, Ooh, try to oh, snipe he, right yeah. there. That was... Yeah, got out of there right in the moment. Yeah, just commit to it at that point. It's like, all right, I'm going to take a punish. <laughs> but if he happens to run in a little early, you'll take the up smash. But I like the okay. aggressive play from Zero to None and Apollo. Both of them are, like, not playing back at all. Yeah, Zero to None really good at switching styles. And, oh, DI is the right to avoid getting confirmed by that, uh, that elevator right there. Yeah, that would have shut it down. Trying to use the yeah, trying to use the Phantom to approach that time, but a little bit too far, so there's no point to commit like that. Apollo just going for the neutral with the side beast. And I think that's gonna be a theme throughout the set. Gets the anti here with the forward smash, but not enough to take it out just yet. But I, oh, missed slightly right there. Probably would have wow. got, got him. Yeah, I think Zero to None actually got thrown off by the timing of the fact that he clanked with the Phantom. So, like, he had the right idea, but the timing just got thrown off a little bit. Oh, no, nuts. Punish. Keep that ledge trap oh. going and going for the early right. Yo. Uh, attempt at the ledge trap. I mean, ledge guard. Good yeah. job. Helper, hit us with the, the, the shots. The hit marker. The yeah. hit marker, yeah. You gotta be on it, Helper. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm wondering something. Is is Lucas's up air two hits? Because it looks like it's two hits. Yeah, the up air. No, it's, no, one, it's one, hit. one hit. It's one hit. What's actually okay. funny is I, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the same in uh, what's in Smash 4, where like how uh, Ness's the hitbox moves with his head, but Lucas uh, it doesn't. It's just, uh, he just he cocks his neck back like all the way like back. That. Like you got no spine. But it doesn't but matter. I, I really like the aggressive play from uh, Apollo, not just on the platforms, the way that he tries to shut down defensive options, but the ledge traps too. Like, he's putting on excessive pressure, and because of that, he's looking at a 92% lead on this last dot. Is Zero to None gonna get double eliminated by Lucas? Uh, it would be interesting. Oh, did, uh, was it Web that put him in losers? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I thought that was the other way around. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Buggy. Yeah, oh, that yeah, one you're not yeah. getting away from. Like last time he was able to clank with it because it was already out there, but that time not so much. But still, 111%. Yeah. Zero to he can snipe out an early stock maybe with a down air. He caps, he pushed him off stage, but Apollo is just, just playing back. Like, nope, you're coming to me. I'm not approaching. Not until you overcommit. Yeah, good on Apollo to recognize like where he's at with his uh, percentages. And the uh, last stock situational where it is because. Any mistake Whoa. could like create a comeback situation for Zero. Oh, and the sniper right there. Get us yeah, the hit marker. Good. Yeah, a good non-committal option too. Just throwing out the picket fires at the ledge. If, if they happen to roll too early, get caught. Neutral get up, get caught. Um, and 
what was uh you were just pointing out something with him before but uh i i agreed with that i just can't remember what you said <laughs> but he, <laughs> like well, just know whatever you said was right but i can't remember <laughs> but... <laughs> only thing we need to know about this match is yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's key to it right there because like i feel like was it that seven devin said he said just take the paper towel that yeah, paper just, towel and just whack just, it just whack yeah it. <laughs> That's the quote of the oh, quote of the week for me. Devin said, "Just whack it." Just whack it, bro. It's a, it's a very hard stick. Yeah, that if you're kills. stuck at home during the quarantine, you got nothing to do. You're not feeling too good, feeling all alone. What it. should you do? Quote Devin three thousand. Just that's... get into game number two. So we got Lucas and, <laughs> and Zelda again, uh, running it back on the PS2. Oh boy, Phantoms out. Ready to anti or whatever approach you try to go in with, with this up airs or it's up tilts as well. That's uh, Zelda's one of Zelda's main combo starters too. Yeah, I like that too. Like you saw the way that um, he knew that he was probably going to throw out the Nehru's love to trying to get out of that situation. So he keeps looking for those. A again, he keeps baiting those a lot and just punishing it afterwards. I'm interested to see if ZTN adjusts to that. But um, like Apollo is just playing on point with like pretty much all of his defensive options. That's like the third time he caught him teleporting on stage too. Yeah. Oh. Zero to know has to watch these knife pulls near the ledge because the more time you're spending trying to pull up that knife, the uh, easier Lucas can shoot you from whatever mid range uh, TK fire you can land right there. Yeah. There you go, finally getting the grab. I mean, you can never fall asleep if you're Apollo 2 because Zelda asked, but oh my god, Whoa, he, he looked like he had all of the right choice and just was a little bit too slow on like pulling the trigger because like, he definitely had the right idea. There you go, get to cover the forward smash and take the first stop. Uh, throw? Oh, fourth throw. I think he was trying to DI mix him up there because like probably holding out to in case he decided to up throw. Well, not falling for it. Another yeah. one of those, too. That's enough for the kill. That was good on ZTN to use uh, uh, Zelda's uh, slowish startup on her uh, on her specials just to mm -hmm. stall his recovery. That's gonna be a death right there. Yeah, for sure. Just get out of here. They like yeah. use the neutral B again when he was doing a uh, neutral get up to to stop the 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 empty jump into grab from Apollo. So he's getting in, he's getting the right idea behind what he's going for, but can't do too much when you get called out of roll read. Very true, very true. Nice out. Ah, elevator, right it up. Oh, that's not gonna take the stock because of uh, how far they were to the blast zone. Yeah, Apollo definitely understands the the way that he's supposed to DI that too. He's, uh, I think that's the second time we've seen him avoid getting killed by it. Ooh, Ooh, what's that? Crap, though, that was disgusting. Throw out uh, the Phantom at ledge. You stay there too long because you're plus 100, probably get hit, you get caught <laughs> by the roll. Like that, that was so many options covered. And Zelda has also amazing kill throw options too, so. One thing that we'll watch out for. Yeah, exactly. You try to buffer roll on, and then you might get hit by the forward smash, which he got caught by last time. So I think he conditioned him into the neutral getup because he had got caught by that in the last stop. Oh, nice. I actually followed the DI there with that. Yeah, that time a little bit more of a combo break. Like, well, not so much combo breaker, just like a get off me option. Like, I want to, I want this pressure away. You're on the platform, and uh, if you happen to do that, you can just drift away to the other platform. That was, <laughs> that was cute. I like that. Apollo cooking. <laughs> that, that, that was nice. Lucas down there alone is just, just an amazing move. It's just, just, just so much for the character. Yeah, it's like, Lucas is just one of those characters, uh, especially offline, where everybody kind of forgets he exists because you don't see him nearly as much. But, like, in 80 plus character cast, I say it all the time, you cannot fall asleep on most of these characters if you don't know the matchup, especially like Lucas. See, I like learning from like seeing people pick a uh, sort of obscurish characters. Because mm -hmm. like that, that could be good for like getting your wins in and and learn something new about a character like there. That was, that was a smart reversal. Uh, so yeah, that was a smart reversal. Like putting himself in disadvantage, uh, going for a ledge trap and realizing Apollo has been pretty aggro at the like the side of the stage. So just putting out the up air not really too too much to worry about because you're far enough away you're not gonna hit by the down air um but yeah i agree with you because like one of my favorite things to do is i watch a lot of other fighting games to watch how they go about neutral game and baits 
and the same thing could be applied in an 80 character cast like you have to watch all these character specialists to understand how are they forcing these sledge traps especially in bad matchups for a character that nobody just knows about i love that trap right there that was such yeah, a good match that was really good yeah it's, it's very interesting to see what people can do for 80 like 80 cast rosters especially apollo who always uh has a character in, in the pocket essentially the pull yeah. out in these situations it's definitely looking good and zero to none also looking really good in that second game so we got a good set going here and i can't wait to see what people do with master chief when we finally get that character because i gotta <laughs> occasionally drop my my master chief propaganda in, in any <laughs> chat i'm ever in ever shout outs to okay. nair for the the prime sub that's good daylight and good. uh burning tea uh for the five the month streak let's Go burning Thanks. tea and neutral layer. Thank you so much for the subs, showing Thank some support so to House of Three Thousand, Devin, Helper, all of them, and of course getting some treats for Luna. That's really yeah. what we all here for. Luna needs My main man across the pond. Dill needs a sandwich. He's skinny. <laughs> all right, going in the game number three. It's one one right now. I believe they're going back to PS two. Oh, oh, okay. I love the mu love the music choice. Always a big fan of any anytime at any major, somebody who decides to go out of the way to pick good music for the stream. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a little choppy. Oof. It's fun. It's visual. Oh, very even on the percentages right here. I'm gonna reset myself. For oh, wait, no. Never mind. It's, it's yeah. coming back. Oh, nice catch right there with the up tilt. Yeah, pretty aggro cat. Like that, that kind of reminded me of like a wake up DP moment. Like as soon as he got off neutral, uh, neutral get up, started mashing that up to like yo, go away. <laughs> I'm gonna catch his damage. It's like, oh man, I'm gonna just catch you. And you see how aggressive he is too, because like you, you saw Apollo was already ready for it. He didn't commit to the double jump up there because he knew that he was gonna throw out some kind of hitbox since it wasn't true. Mm. Some the night out. Oh, some it again. All right, time to go in. Oh, misses the grab there. It's very... Oh, what a situation right there. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Somehow not getting killed in the midst of that. Getting the sour spot of the, the back air. I always forget that's the back air. Uh, and then um, still not getting stage spiked by the LP too. Oh, poor throw. That's a, the pretty weaker version of whatever throws. Woo! Oh, wow. Completely avoids that, but it's like caught anyway and thrown. All right. My man, the amount of times he's caught that, like, yeah, it's it's good to do because you need to mix up your recovery once in a while. But Apollo just seems to be looking at the playbook every time he thinks about doing that. Almost had the roll coverage with that falling up here too. That would have been good damage. True. Apollo, stay ready for whatever defensive options here. The nun's ready to pull out. Yeah, except for the aggressive ones, decided to go on yeah. the defense with the back here. Let's get it to close it. Um, I, I, oh, here we go. All right, oh, so that was a quick 32 right there. Hey, you know what? Take the damage where you can. Bread and butter is always what get the job done. It's like sometimes you'll see people try to go for something like that. Try to go for like a double jump, read a read a text somewhere, go for a down air. But when you're one game apiece and you want to get that lead, go for the true stuff. Oh, right there. It's good of Zero to None to set up this wall just to catch a. Uh... Apollo trying to go in on him and just getting hit by the up B out of shield right there. One of Zelda's uh, best options is just to have would, a kill option out of shield. Would as a reversal. know how much lag, how much cooldown Lucas has on, on absorb if he actually absorbs? Oh, that I actually never thought about. Because, like, I feel like if it. I can't help but think that it's like similar to like when Fox Reflector like goes off, he can like jump out of it like immediately. Mm -hmm. Like, does Lucas have something similar like that? Like that with it? He does. Cause he does. Okay. Yeah. He does. Okay. Okay, cause like, <laughs> so one thing he could be doing to like, uh, for the anti edge guard against uh, zero to none is that when zero to none is edge guarding with like Din's fire, he just pulls it out and absorbs it. Mm. Can he absorb it? Yeah, he can absorb Din's Fire. All right. Um, so. About that, though, it's like I don't think I see Zero to None pulling out Din's Fire in this matchup a lot because of the... I, I, the I only bring it up because I saw him doing it uh, in, like, the last stock. So I was just like, hmm. 
Yeah, I, bet, I think a big part of it, like, it, it's good to pull out every once in a while, but also you see Jotunon is a bit more committal on going for the Phantoms to force him to go low. Because yeah. he could just insta-snap to Tether, but if he gets him to be too comfortable with that situation, then he drops down and Ooh. goes for the Nair. Oh, yeah. oh he that almost was, had him again! He did. That was almost sick. Was <laughs> yeah, Jotunon was looking really good in that situation, and Paolo was just trying to get out. Yeah. Look see at the him. shield damage on that forwarder. That's insane. Forward air, yeah. back air. Yeah, but Zero to making Zelda look like an up close pressure character like you wouldn't expect, but it, it's it's something you pull out and it'll catch a lot of players off guard. Apollo cannot get this star. Yeah, he's trying to wow. catch a Zero to None slipping, but Zero to doing a good job being very avoidable. And lands the back air right there to take the stock. Yeah, that was very good. It was, is this uh, best of three or best of five? It's best of five. five. Oh, that's best of five. Okay, so. Yeah. Zero to none going up 2-1. Uh, Apollo looked really good in that game one. It's not like he's been looking bad in these last two. It's just that um, I think zero to none is kind of really caught on to the patterns of his, his aggression. Like he was doing a good job of catching him at the ledge with the neutral getups in particular. Um, but since then, it seems like zero to none is like, all right, if I keep the pressure on you, you start getting really happy with spot dodges or like right. early jumps, and he's punishing him so much for it. Very true, very true. Let's see what uh, Apollo can do about uh, game number four here to change the situation that, he, that they're in. Yeah, currently looking at possibly fourth place, but who knows? It is a best of five. The sub tournament here, it's, uh, this is Xeno Wi-Fi 4, right? Yep. I noticed. I looked it yeah. up. But I needed confirmation anyways. I'm losing my mind. How many can we differentiate like the sub one and the regular one that everyone can join? Huh? What? Would we, we like differentiate like the the sub one or the regular one that everyone can? Nah, Xeno Wi-Fi is we ever, we do whatever the hell we want. Okay. We just we <laughs> just we just don't know what we want to do. <laughs> so it's just like we, we keep dipping our toes in the water and we're like, all right. <laughs> Weird way to make a sound. All right. Is that duck hunt? Yeah. yeah duck hunt. Paul oh my. Back to duck hunt. Okay, so. This matchup I'm actually pretty intrigued by because, like, it, it's one of those where you go into any Discord and, and you just, like, throw this matchup out there and what did a lot of the average players say? Oh, Neutral B is going to invalidate everything. Yeah, but here's the thing. If you are good at baiting that out, like, you know, the way that Apollo was doing earlier with Lucas, uh, like, you get caught with a lot of damage. So let's see how he adjusts in this game. Yeah, so whenever people, like, immediately bring up, like, ref Sorry, something just happened. Um, whenever characters like are brought up in the discussion about having a reflector or absorption tool, um, Bro, are you doing okay? Yeah. Is there a sandal near you? Like, is there a chancleta inbound? Or do you need assistance? Like, you should press one if you need help. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it was just like a. So. God, I also trying to thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I, I got it. I got it. Ooh. So, when it comes to having uh, discussions about characters with reflectors or absorption tools, people always assume that the ones with the tool like win the matchup. That's mm -hmm. not really the case because like, oh there's God. always a uh, that was sick. Uh, there's always uh, cases of when like, all right, what if I just don't shoot you? <laughs> exactly. It's it's all about the bait mind game. Like you want to be able to play it slow. But zero to none. He like he started off the game. Uh, a, like a bit of with that style, it's like chilling back, throwing out phantoms, trying to bait him into thinking these reflexes would happen, and he took some dam like quick damage. But he's pretty much replicating the other stocks, uh, they, like just playing much more in his face, refusing to let Apollo get set up. And that's the the like the mastery of character that I see in Zero to None, where he's able to switch between styles of I'm gonna stay at the other side of the stage, or I'm just gonna go in. Right there, that's, that throws a lot of players off. <laughs> and he's doing a much better job of slowing it down now. Like, this is a dead even game. Uh, I don't really like Apollo's duck out. Like, like he's, his change of pace with when he needs to go in is really good, especially on a small stage like this. True, true. Yeah, Zero to is bringing it to him right now with the, the, the one hit situations where he's sending them off and just like putting the knight out there to try to make him recover the way uh, they want uh, Zero to No wants them to recover. 
Oh, if that was pretty much any other character, that neutral B. Uh, there you go, gonna get the down throw into, I believe that's a DI mix up right there, getting the up air. Well, like the way that he was covering in that neutral B there, uh, if that was like an air dodge from anybody else, that would have been a hit. So, good adjustment from Apollo and taking uh, his first lead in a little while over these last few games and looking good while he's doing it. Oh, good block there out of Dinspire. Oh, yeah. Also, a thing to mention that I probably don't think most people know about Zelda is Zelda's able to control when that knight comes out by tapping B again after charging it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could throw it early, really throw off somebody's approach timing. Very important that coverage to, like... right there. Oh, yeah. No other it's... timing. Yeah. You should only be able to hold it for one second now after you charge it. Yeah. My goodness, Yoda Nun is oh, completely tore oh, it apart. Right. We talked about the lack of uh, like Din's fire before, but once the jump's lost and you have to commit to that up B or you're sitting, dog. Uh, that was completely controlled by Zero to None. What was a close game completely went south fast. Yeah. You gotta hold that fire. No reflect, no absorption tool. Just it's gonna get burned. <laughs> yeah, three one, right? Yep, that yeah, was three, three to one. one. So All zero right. to none gonna move on to play against uh Who's who's what line is this right now? Who's the semi? Numbers. You play, you gotta play against numbers. Our fourth commentator. Uh, 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 great job by Apollo. the F word. Let's go Wi-Fi. Who said the bad word on the bad New Yorker stream? <laughs> FNY, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. L nah, only LNY. LNY. I miss New York. Same. Uh Lose his finals. Getting ready here with uh, his numbers. He's not there yet. Nope. 